The Hulk is one of the most powerful beings in any comic book or superhero universe ever created. Also one of the most underrated if not ignored characters when it comes to crossover duels and versus conversations and debates, leaving out the big green for more famous popular characters. Well here at the Mavericks Rogues we're about to smash down the wall of ignorance and total bias and tell it like it is on the strongest one there is and ever will be, the Incredible Hulk. To me there is very little one can do against someone so powerful. A being that can topple down frost giants, both killing and defeating as guardian gods, giving even the mighty Zeus a run for his money. In a sense, Zeus cheated, taking any advantage away from the Hulk by negating his, abil his abilities uh, because he wanted to avoid an embarrassing loss to the human. We know he defeated Thor on more than one occasion, and he bested Hercules himself, arguably the stronger of the two. He filled Gladiator's face with planet-busting punches, taking down a character very similar to pre-Crisis Superman. And so, where does Dr. Bruce Banner get all this power? And does he really need rage and anger to get stronger every time he changes into the man-monster everyone is so afraid of in the Marvel Universe? Well, the universe. Yeah, yes, that's right, the universe. Hulk's physical power increases when his body is pushed to its limits, drawing atomic energy into it as needed. We've seen this many times when we read the comics. The evidence is all in there. That's right. You can find any of these quotes within the comic book links below. One quote says, His limitless strength. Another, One figure strides forth, huge, invisible, with power so great, it continually feeds upon itself. The Incredible Hulk. Another, but such is the power of the incredible gamma rays that created him. The more the Hulk exerts himself, the stronger he becomes. And another, the Hulk cannot tire. The more he fights, the stronger he becomes. And another, though the Incredible Hulk is subjected to deadly forces beyond mortal description, Still does the indescribable gamma ray energy within his massive frame continue to sustain him. Still does his mighty heart beat on as his all-consuming rage increases with every passing second. And finally, as the Hulk gets angrier, he becomes stronger, stronger, ever stronger. Let's look at some of the strongest feats and compare them to the feet of others. The argument is that uh, pre crisis Superman is stronger than the Hulk and that Hulk needs to grow in strength uh, gradually in order to eventually uh, match the Man of Steel and that by then it'll be too late because, you know, Zeus would have taken him out before he could have gained an advantage. So, we're putting him up against this Superman. In Titans Collide number one, Hulk vs. Hercules, um, Amadeus Cho confirms that uh, the Hulk always holds back and I've seen that happen many a times, especially against Wolverine. You know, when the, when the Hulk walks away, Hulk tired. Or against Superman, you know, Hulk not want to fight no more. We know that's actually Bruce Banner, uh, kind of like making the peace, you know. <laughs> um, the power of his fist has been compared to Mjolnir itself. The Incredible Hulk has done what no other power, save Thor's hammer, could have done. This is a quote from Avengers number five. The Savage Hulk confronts a force field of deviant technology powered by the Sacred Flame. And this is a quote from Hulk number 242. That something, anything, could grip hold of an energy field should be impossible. But the Hulk grabs hold just the same. The field begins to stretch like a physical thing in his grasp as he pushes and pulls with ever-increasing might until the barrier collapses. The Hulk takes down an asteroid twice the size of Earth in Marvel Comics Presents number 52. And uh, the Hulk pushes two spheres of matter and antimatter apart, the inertia force field being greater than a neutron star. And this happened in Marvel Team Up Annual number 2. The Beyonder uh, in Secret Wars number 2, who is considered one of the most powerful cosmic beings in Marvel history, once uh, said to the Hulk that... Uh, he was nothing but raging power personified, an infinity of power with no finite element inside. Um, through tests, Doc Samson once told the Hulk 
that uh, there truly seemed to be no limit to his strength. And I think you can find that in Hulk number 228. In another issue, uh, it describes that Hulk's strength is incalculable. In Indestructible Hulk number 1, when the Hulk overwhelmed the quantum mold designed by Ultron to liquefy and mold adamantium. In an attempt to counter an attack from Nightcrawler, the Hulk performs a thunderclap. And it's so strong that uh, he destroys all the planets and land masses within an entire dimension. And this happened in Hulk number 126. Uh, he sends concussive force throughout countless dimensions uh, by the impact of his collision with Ironclad in Hulk number 305. Um, in uh, one of his uh, World Breaker issues uh, books uh, by Greg Pak. We know that the Hulk shockwaves destroy an entire planet and vaporizes all his enemies. And all these guys uh, are at the level of Silver Surfer or the Hulk at their average power levels. So there you go. That's many examples of the Hulk's raw power and limitless strength. Friends, I have given you evidence of some of the strongest feats he's, he's ever performed. Um, to me, Hulk is the strongest one there is. He can take down planets and dimensions. And so in the end, there really isn't anything that the Hulk can't smash, or push, or lift, or pull. And so, once again, to me, he is uh, the most powerful hero um, among all the heroes and the galaxy busters in the Marvel Universe, or DC Universe, or any universe for that matter. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Maverick, out.